I act in the authority vested in me by God and the state of Florida that I'm so happy to now pronounce you man and wife. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. You may salute your bride. But the craziness didn't start there. August 25th, 2017. That was the best day of my life because that's the day that I got married. I don't think I could have asked for a more magical day and I'm so excited that I finally get to share it with you guys. The reason we chose this spot was because we felt like it would fit our theme. To be totally and completely honest with you, the real reason we chose this particular area was because we can have an all-in-one. We can have the ceremony outside and the reception just a few feet away. We basically decided on this space by choosing a number one through 10, and we both actually said the number four at the same time. So based off of the pictures, can you guess what our theme is? The theme is country glam. The reason we actually went with this particular theme it was because I felt like it really spoke to us as a couple and who we are. I felt like his side is more country and I bring a little bit more glam to it. So I figured why not make it a country glam theme? We can have country be the space, the airiness, the comfort of it with all of the beautiful uh, country flowers like the roses and we can have a little bit of glam to it by providing a lot of the bling, the crystals and those sorts of things. So it was a really great fit for the both of us and that's why we chose to go with that particular theme. So as you can see, it's almost time for me to walk down the aisle. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I went through prior to doing so. Of course, I have my lovely bottle of white wine waiting there for me in my beautiful bridal glass. I'm just here getting my hair done, makeup done with my faux top by my side, as well as all of my bridesmaids. I like being able to feel like a diva and having everyone make a big fuss about me. I mean, besides, isn't that what it's all about, being a bride? My boy Joe really hooked me up in terms of makeup. He had everything on deck, ready to go. Just to make sure I got the look that I wanted. There's my beautiful mother as she looks on, my sister, as well as my wedding planner right next to her. And of course, the wonderful show-stopping dress. And it did take all five of my bridesmaids to get me in that dress, as well as my beautiful mother. finally getting started here with the ceremony. There's my beautiful mother in her golden dress. She was definitely working that dress. Get it, Ma. And the man that I've definitely been waiting for, my boo thing, strutting his stuff and his nice suit. I was definitely checking him out the whole night. And I can see that everyone else appreciates a good looking man and a nice looking suit too.
I'm not even gonna lie, I was super, super nervous to walk down the aisle because I just didn't want a bunch of people staring at me, but I guess this is one of those days I just can't avoid. <laughs> but it was super helpful that my dad was cracking jokes. It kind of helped calm me down just a little bit. It wasn't so bad walking down the aisle. As soon as I saw my family and friends, I started to calm down a little bit and really just enjoy the moment. And unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife. Excuse the loud fan that you're about to hear within the next few seconds. This is a fan that we had placed outside for our guests, but you'll hear it shortly. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Hi, guys. Ago, I wrote letters to God asking for the type of man I wanted. My husband had to be <laughs> suave and sophisticated, worldly, and well traveled. <laughs> and then you came along. <laughs> and I realized you were none of those things. <laughs> but it turns out you actually possessed all of the qualities I sought in the maid. I just didn't see it initially. Uh, when my parents passed, even though I was older, it still, it still. Uh, it still gets me sometimes, like it just did. But I know that um, I always try to strive to be the best I can for. You know, I, I really wish you could have got an opportunity to meet him so you can kind of know who you're trying to marry. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, I just think that if I had the opportunity to sit down with him and I could talk to him and say, Mama, Daddy, met this young lady Rose, and I, I think I want to marry her. I love her. And Mama would say something along the lines of, well, Baby, are you happy? Yeah. Is she happy when she's with me? Yeah, I think so. Well, as long as y'all happy, we happy for it. My daddy on the other hand, he's a little more a different type of animal altogether. But uh, you would probably say, Rose, was that some kind of flower or something? I'm say, yeah, daddy, that, that's my special flower. So, he would, uh, I was like, well, y'all happy together? Yeah, daddy, we happy. Well, that's all that matters to us. The hell with the rest of us. So I just want you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that you have everything you need. And if you have right, maybe a couple, two, three things that you want. But I'm going to do my best. I love you, and I thank God for bringing us together my little Rose.
Sarah and Rose. It was indeed a pleasure to work with you through marriage counseling and to stand before you today. Farrah's my first cousin. Love him to death. But you know, I've seen him from the time that he was birthed into this world and the time that he stands here now. And I can tell you personally, although others came and went, nobody makes him smile and light up like you do. Fair Rose completes you. If your mom and dad were here today, I'm sure they would say, well done. I act in the authority vested in me by God and the state of Florida that I'm so happy to now pronounce you man and wife. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. You may salute your bride. Come on and welcome her once again, Mr. and Mrs. Farrah Donaldson. It's official. I'm finally Mrs. Donaldson. That's the celebration.
here are more crazy photos. Thanks so much for watching my wedding video. Stay tuned for more goodies I have in store for you next week right here on my channel. In the meantime, feel free to check out my other vids and like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.